Keep watching Charis TV. You're free. Can I pray for you? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, but my husband has been on the phone. You called for me earlier. You called for me earlier, man of God, but my husband was busy on the phone. I want to pray for you. Thank you, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Who did you come here with? I came with my husband. That's our elder. That's, that's our daughter in the church. The elders in the church? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Mm. Even that one? No, no, no. It's, no, only it's just the four of us. And then herself. I want to pray for you. Thank you. Thank you hear me? Yes, yes man of God. Mm. I, I want God to help you. Amen. Uh, the issue of the church. Amen. Yes, man of God, true. Nothing is working out. Very true, man of God. Yes. But I saw a car. Where is your car? It's at home, man of God. You came with a car, who? No, we came with his car. his car, not. I saw a car. You need to be careful of accident. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. That's true. They are back in, in Botswana. Do you have a child somewhere? No, no, no. Are you sure? 100% sure. So now you, you must take care of your children. Amen. You hear me? Yes, sir. So that you must destroy what happened to you and your father. Amen. Yes, man of God. You know, the relationship. Go deeper about that. What I'm trying to say is that yeah. you must come with something new. Remember, you never experienced the love of your father. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Um... Go deeper, man of God. Yeah, go deeper, man of God. Yes. I understand where they come from. You must do something new. May God do something new, man of God. You understand? Yes, sir. Where is your father? My father is late. You must do something new that you as a child, you have never received from your father. I will do that. I'll do that. I'll do that, sir. I, I don't know if should I speak more than that. Yes. Speak more, man of God. I'll come to me after the service. I want to speak with you. Thank you so much. I believe God will help you. Thank you so much. But if not, I'm seeing a problem. Please help us. No, don't worry. I'm seeing a problem. You must just pray for your marriage. Yeah, yeah, true. Yes, it's true, man of God. True. It's the reason we came. Yes, very true. There is a huge problem. Very true. I love this woman. Clap <laughs> <laughs> hands for her. tell people these things. Sometimes when I speak, I want to speak in parables. I'm thinking you'll catch me very fast. You understand? I think you'll catch me. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yes. Because these people, you know them, if they don't pray, you people don't, if you don't pray, you can divorce. Very true, man of God. is very true. Very true. Very true. Very true. <laughs> I said to you, give your children what your father has never given you. Do you remember what I said? He said, I must go deeper. Now I'm going deeper now. Yes, man of God. You want, you want deep, deep more than this? Yes, deep, yes. deep, deep. Because, man of God, it's a problem. Our marriage is a problem. Not only that, everything is a problem. No, you people, you are already divorced. Already divorced. Because these are the people that have been trying to mend the situation. That is very, very, very true. We, it's like we are very divorced because my husband, very true. Very true. <laughs> because he, he wanted to move out. Yeah, uh, he even removed the ring, I agree. That's very true. Clap <laughs> hands for this woman. <laughs> Uh, 
And now, that's the reason why they brought you here. Yes, very, very true. Hand, 100% true. Because I saw you people, let me tell you, I saw you people discussing, we were talking. You're coming with a car. But on this car, I'm seeing 104. That's my, yes. huh? that's that's my car. car. Huh? That's, that's my car. car. That's true, man of God. And now when you're discussing the, I also say, so A-N. A-I-N, yes. Huh? A-I-N. So now that's not important. Okay, thank you. I'm not like that, but if you want me to entertain you, I can entertain you. Okay. <laughs> if you see me speaking something, it's not a joke. I'm sure these people, they know, they know us very well. I don't have time for green peppers. I've got a time for a problem. Yes. yes. If you want me to profess your green peppers and that you cut it, you use it, there's a half insight. I can do that. But what about the problems of our people? Can you see these people? When they were traveling here, you see now mama, she was there at the back, now she's here. And she knows that they're coming here for the first time. Yes. Huh? Yeah. So now you can see the issue is serious now. Yes. That's why you moved from there coming here. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure you don't know me. No, no, no. I've just, been, I've just been following TV. you and on, uh, on YouTube all the time. I watch you every week. It's yeah, you that has, I brought them, yes. You brought them. Yes. And now I don't know you, all of you. I know. Mm. I don't know these people. Can you hear you? My son is saying hi about the. Is my son is surprised of you people. I want to pray for you. Yes, yes man of God. I want to see you after this. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. You hear me? Yes, yes man of God. Uh, they are not visitors. Eh? Where is my lord? Odi? They are not visitors. No? They don't book as visitors. No? So I'll just speak with them because their problem is very serious. Yes. Very true. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, know, you so much. That's why I said the, already there's no marriage. Already. Very true. Very there's true. no marriage. This man has been saying he's tired. Yes, man I'm of tired. God. I'm tired. I'm tired. Very though. true, man of God. You are still tired. No, now I'm feeling better now. <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, trepids for Holy Spirit. <laughs> let me tell you this. You know, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Always they do telling you this thing that in charis you have got the grace. Because imagine people from but they travel from Botswana coming here with this problem. These people, they want to divorce. And now your pastor come here and start to play with people. And look at the problem. And they drove almost 400 and something kilometers. I just wanted to show you this thing. That you people of Charis, to be honest with you, you are so much privileged. Huh? You see us every day. Every day. People have got problems outside. A church is not something that you have to go there and you entertain people. You hear me? And from there you close the service. You say the service was powerful. But look at the problems of people. Look at these problems. I want to pray for you. I'll speak with you after the service. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you, man of God. Thank you so much. You say you did very well by bringing them here. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. I believe God will do something. Thank you, man of God. I believe God will do something. Because thank already the lady was suspecting already the someone. Hey, very true. Man of God. Very true. Very true, man of God. So what if I tell you the someone? Yes. <laughs> Yes, man huh? of God. What yeah. are you going to do if I tell you there's someone? There's nothing that I will do because man of God, I already know. Something like that. But... Huh? It's, it, Remember we're before God. Huh? Yes, man of God. I will... I will not... 
I'll confirm, man of God, because I've been suspecting, as you even said earlier. Brother, yes, sir. And I, when I ask him, he just says, no, no, no. Though there, there could be evidences that I would say, but look, this is what is happening. Brother, yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Thank you. But as a pastor, you're supposed to be honest to your partner. Yeah. Let me pray for you. You hear me? Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Come. I'm closing now. You heard what I said? That's true, man of God. True. It's very true. I wish it's I true, but he denies it, but I know. <laughs> and brother, the issue of the land. Yes, sir. It is one of the reasons I came. Um, earlier on when you... You, you are trying to speak to me. We've been waiting for this uh, issue of the land. And then the, the time you're just trying to speak to me, a message came in. That is what I was trying to respond to the time you spoke. This land, we've been waiting for a document. Because I don't know you. Yes, sir. And I'm saying the issue of the land. Because I'm seeing that it, it's already solved. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're surprised? I'm 100% shocked. Huh? I'm 100% shocked. Mm. This is Cherish. Amen. It's not, uh, wait, this is Cherish. Mm. We don't play here. Hallelujah. Bring him. We don't play in the house of God. Let me tell you this. There was a time I was going to U.S., Yes, I'm closing. And you know, Charis is very famous outside. <clears throat> you know what that day, what happened? When the flight was taken off like this, I started to pray. Not that I was afraid. I started to pray. I only realized that I prayed the whole night. You can ask the man of God will tell. Until the flight was landing, until the captain said, now we are landing now, in a few minutes. You know why I was praying? Can I tell you? I was praying because I was asking God, God, when I reach there, what am I going to tell the children of God? What am I going to tell your children? What is it that I'm going to do when I get there? Because I don't want to be there and be myself traveling all this distance to lie to someone. And remember, when you reach there, you don't know anyone. How are you going to lie now? Can you see that? Yes. You don't know anyone. How are you going to lie? The only person you know is the one who's registering people. From their faces, I knew, knew. I prayed, I said, God, what am I going to do when I get there? So I was asking God that. Many people that are here, they just don't know. When I speak normal, I love to speak small. I want you to catch me later. I, one time I told, I told my wife, I said, if I speak with the way God shows me, you won't come to church again. I'm telling you. You look at someone and say, Ah, you lost a child. The person say no. And you say, ah, why am I seeing blood? Why there was a lot of blood coming out? What is the blood for? I'm just giving you an example. So now, a prophecy is not something to destroy you. No. And we don't gain pride in prophesying things that are right. No, when you've got the Holy Spirit, you're always right. Because it's not you who speaks, it's God. And God can never be wrong. I know. If I come to you and say there's something, I know. And if you see me smiling like this, I leave you. 
because according to me, I, I was not going to speak with you. I was there. You saw me? Yes, sir. When I was there, I was looking at you straight. Mm. I said, hey, brother there, and I don't know you. Yes, sir. And at that time, I want to tell you about your problem. You are busy on the phone. And God said, leave him. That's why I left you. If now you are used to a church where they play, where now a prophet must be praised to prophesy, not here. Don't do it here. Because prophecy does not come by the will of people. It comes by the will of God. Are you hearing me? If now for me to speak with you, you must clap hands for me. I must look like I'm bigger than all of you here. It means I've got a demon. I must be delivered. If there's a pastor who behaves like that, tell them that you need deliverance. You, pastor, you need deliverance. Come, I pray for you. Come, sir. Come, mama. Your wife? No. Oh, yeah, she's an elder like you? Yes. <coughs> Maybe I must come to Botswana. Please. Maybe I must come to Botswana. <coughs> come. 